Lately, we see a lot of friends in the Thai startup community applying to pitching competitions, so we'd like to put AARRR on hold for now and share some suggestions on pitching, especially the problem solution section. There are generally three main types of startup pitching. A short 60 to 90 second pitch is often called an elevator pitch. It's called this because if you meet an investor in an elevator, you only have a short amount of time to tell them your idea. A three to six minute pitch usually happens at demo day for accelerators, such as JFDI, 500 Startups, or Y Combinator, or at pitching competitions such as Echelon, Tech in Asia, or Seed Stars World. The 10 to 20 minute pitch is usually what happens when you go to meet investors such as angels or VCs. Each of these pitches have different sections. The longer the pitch, the more sections there are. The one thing they all have in common, however, is the problem solution. It is the section where many, many startups often fail. When the problem solution is not clear, the judge or investor thinks, I don't understand. They are often confused because after listening they still don't know what is the product and what problem does it solve. If these answers are not clear, it becomes much harder to listen and to care about all the other sections. So we'd like to recommend a way for you to pitch your idea in a way that makes sure the audience really understands the problem and solution. The key is to tell a story. A story is effective because it's not boring, it's easier to visualize, and it allows the listener to connect emotionally. The first thing you need is to identify the persona. This is like the main character in your story. It can be real or imaginary, but they should be someone who is part of your target market, a person who will really want and need your product. The next thing you need to describe is the specific goal or task they are trying to accomplish. Exactly what is it that they are trying to do in your story? Next, identify the current solution. Without your product, how would they most likely perform this task today? What would they use? Next, describe the key steps they would go through to use the current solution. But describe it in a way that makes the listener really, really feel the pain, almost like stabbing them with a knife and twisting it. If possible, also express this pain in some measurable way so that it sounds even more serious. Now, describe your solution. Make sure you begin by telling them what your product is in very clear and simple terms. This is where many, many startups fail and the listener thinks, so exactly what is the product and what does it do? We still don't understand. Finally, you need to link your product back to your story by explaining exactly how it reduces the pain. If you measure the pain in your problem story, then also give another measurement to show how much improvement is achieved by your product. So let's see an example of how this problem solution story might work. Let's try to pitch a popular app like Grab Taxi. So here's Jenny. She's a 28-year-old account executive in Bangkok. Every day, she needs to find a taxi so that she can go home. She doesn't drive. She doesn't have a car. So what she'll normally do, or she can normally do, is to hail a taxi from the street. But the problem is she lives in Bangkok. So rush hour, at the end of the day, it's really, really hard to find a free taxi or taxi that's available. So she can end up waiting around for more than 30 minutes. The solution is Grab Taxi, which is a mobile app that helps book a taxi near you. What you do is you open the app, choose your preferred service, tell them where you're going, book a ride at the push of a button, receive your booking confirmation in 30 seconds, and you can track your driver until they come and actually pick you up and take you home. So, with this solution, Jenny is able to save a lot of time, almost as much as uh, an hour per day. Let's look at another example. 
This is wash box 24. So here's Ben. Here's a, he's a 32-year-old architect in Bangkok. Now, every couple of weeks, he runs out of clothes, and it's time to do his laundry. So he can go to the cleaners, but there's a problem. Ben works really, really uh, a lot. He wakes up very early, goes to the office around 6 a.m. He comes home sometimes as late as 9 or 10 p.m. Problem is, most of the laundry services open, say, 9 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. So they're always closed before and after his work hours. The solution is Washbox 24, which is um, a 24-hour laundry service that uses these self-service lockers. So you can just go to the locker, use a special card, open the locker, throw the clothes in at any hour, and then the laundry gets taken by the service people. They clean it, they put it back in the locker, and you can come back and pick, a, a pick up your clothes anytime. So how does it help? It allows Ben to do his laundry absolutely anytime, no matter what his work hours are. All right, so those are two examples of the problem-solution story. Just to summarize again, the key parts to help you build your problem-solution story are the persona, your main character, the goal or task, so what is it that they're trying to do, the current solution, so what is the most likely thing that they would use now, today, if they didn't have your product, the pain point, really, really important. So using the current solution, what's the most painful thing about this? And then, of course, your solution, your product. And finally, how does your product eliminate or reduce that pain? Okay, I hope this is clear. If you'd like to learn more, definitely follow me on Facebook, either at Surawat Promyotin or Thai Startup Talk. Thanks so much for listening and good luck to you.